God say, Amen. Give me honor to the pastor of this church, the person Dr. Clayton G. Taylor Sr., to all the very fine pastors and ministers of the gospel who labor in the gospel of Jesus Christ, to Mr. Willie Watkins and Ferris and the entire staff of Willie Watkins Funeral Home, and most certainly to this bereaved family. Today we are gathered because once more the divine hand of providence has moved so to put us in this appointment place at this appointed time in this hour to celebrate the life, the love, the labor, and the legacy of ideally departed for the Donald Blossom game. I want to, uh, as I always, with every family who sits in these very same seats, encourage you uh, to know that even on a day as this, we still must acknowledge how good our God is. For because of him, we are being kept by his grace. Even in an hour.
He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. God's word bring peace and comfort to the hearts of those that mourn. New Testament reading, Cardinals from Romans, 8 chapter, verse 38 through 39. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, not things present, not things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ, our love. God word for God. Thank you, Father, continue to be with, as they walk, 
this path called life. And everybody here knows that one day we shall have an appointed time. And we ask, Father, that you would be with us, be with this family. Hold them. Rock them in the cradle of your arms. We thank you, Father. We thank you as we leave here that you will continue to be with us. In your darling son Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. Amen.
Brother Don Anthony Lafingan, Sr., for his contributions to this church, to this church, community, and all mankind. Whereas Brother Lafingan was born the 24th of December, 1940, in Atlanta, Georgia, to the late Cherry Burns and Frank Lafingan. Whereas Brother Lafingan joined the St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church in East Point, Georgia, in July of 2011, under the leadership of our Reverend Dr. Clayton Taylor Sr., whereas Brother Blossom Gang served this church and the community as a faithful member, whereas he believes in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and that God's grace is sufficient, whereas he further believes that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal, whereas he believes that if this family, if this earthly tabernacle would be dissolved, he had another building not made by hand, eternal in the heavens. Now, therefore, the pastor, members, and friends of St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church, 2870 Hatland Drive, East Point, Georgia, hereby resolve to proclaim Tuesday, the 7th of July, June, I'm sorry, 2020, as the day of memorial in our church for Brother Donald Blossom Gang. Amen. At this time, we will have our reflections. Mr. Terry Turner.
and Watkins family to bring words of tribute to a man that I deeply respected. Um, my late uncle, Martin Luther King Jr., wrote a book called What Manner of Man Is This? And I thought about that question as I was preparing my remarks uh, for today. Um, because when I met Blasting Gang in the early 2000s, uh, and as I usually do with uh, people that I meet for the first time, I kind of check them out. I guess that's my psychology background. But something struck me uh, about the uniqueness of Blasting Gang. And so the question, what manner of man is this? Tall in stature, uh, very respectable, very mannerable. Uh, strong in his constitution. Uh, that's who Blasting Gang was to me. And uh, I met Blasting Gang when I asked Willie Watkins if he would assign a driver um, for uh, my mother and my father and for me on occasions. And Blasting Gang was our driver. So much so that uh, other family and friends, even my church members, would ask, uh, Blasting Game, do you think he can drive for me, for us? <laughs> uh, that's our driver, excuse me. Uh, but but Blasting Game was so courteous um, and so well presenting that um, everybody just loved and loved and respected Blasting Game. There are so many stories that I could tell about the times that I rode with him, the tips that he gave me on driving, on navigating the highway, changing lanes, and getting through traffic very quickly. Uh, many road trips. Uh, in a very difficult season of my life, I asked Blasting Game if he would drive for about a month to my daughter, Ferris, who's here, a part of Willie A. Watkins' funeral home, if he would drive Ferris, and Ferris was about first or second grade, if he would drive her to school uh, in the mornings. And he agreed right away. He was there faithfully every morning to pick Ferris up and take her to school. And Ferris became so fond of Blasting Game and so trusting of Blasting Game that she started to ask, can Blasting Game pick me up? Well, I'll call Blasting Game, he'll take me. Um, because Blasting Game was always there, just really a person that we could trust uh, with confidential information when we when I had to be on the phone uh, discussing confidential family business, I knew I could trust Blasting Game, uh, and he was always there. I saw his heart, and that means a lot. Uh, nowadays, we wear the mask, and not just the physical mask, but also that the mask that we put on that really keeps others from seeing who we really are. It's hard to feel each other nowadays, but I really felt Blasting Game's heart, and that meant a lot to me. So perhaps the greatest tribute that I could give to Blasting Game today is to just say thank you. Thank you, Blasting Game.
for being a wonderful manner of a man. Thank you so much. And now, last again, as the hymn writer wrote, cares are past, home at last, ever to rejoice. God bless you.
talk to him. Jesus. Jesus talked to him. The Holy Spirit. Understand what happened there. He says, listen, go down and open the doors. The dawn of blasphemy. Yeah, he can open the doors. Get right out. Don't open the doors. Get what happened? They waved his flag. Don, I got a spot. I got a spot for you, Don. Could you imagine what he's doing now? Could you imagine bagging this? Oh, yeah. Limousine up in the store. Take it off this. Oh, take it off this. Now, Don, the last day. Charge to keep me happy in Dallas. A God to glorify. I never die in the store to say, and it fit in the sky. Sir, how did he stir this president? Every time we called him and told him to pick up our child, he served his president. Every pep talk he had, when all of us would have wanted to walk away, he served his president. It's calling to him. Oh, I thought it had to be a minister, but sometimes you understand the part of my ability to watch the funeral was the church and Donald was the preacher.
acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Spirit of the living God, Lord, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, again, fall afresh on me. Lord, help me. Jesus, strengthen me. Lord, guide me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Lord, allow me to get out of the way so that you may have your way. Lord, use us for your service. Then use us in your service. It is in Jesus' name that we pray and ask God. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm not worried about a soul, no. I'm not worried about a soul. Because I fixed it with Jesus a long time ago. And I'm not worried about a soul. Well, I'm not worried about a soul. No.
to my beloved pastor, the Reverend Dr. Clayton E. Taylor, Sr. God knows I love that man. To my co-pastor, the Reverend Christopher E. Taylor, Sr. To all the ministers that are in the house, to all the deacons, to all the white staff, but most of all, just unto this family. I come to say unto you, family, I know you heard it time and time again, but the word of God never fails. It still holds true that earth still has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. To everybody who loves the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come unto to, 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 to you today, not to preach because the preaching has already been done. Say amen, somebody. For God has spoken, amen. Amen. So my job here is to try to encourage somebody just to let you know that there is still a God who still have his long outstretched hand of love wrapped around you. There's a word from the Lord, and I promise you I won't be long. Give me five minutes and I'll be out of your way. There's a word from the Lord found in the New Testament. The book of St. John. St. John, the ninth chapter. And I'm going to begin reading at the very first verse of that. And it reads like this. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was replying from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. And I'm going to key in on this fourth verse. It said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it's day. The night coming when no man can work. Church, say amen. I want to talk for just a minute or two from this particular thought. Still working for a day like God in these last and evil nighttime days. Still working for a day like God in these last and evil nighttime days. Y'all pray with me. My brother and I on last Saturday, Deacon Hurst and I, we had a funeral here at St. Paul, one of our beloved Deacon, Deacon Andrew Green. But anyway, Dick and Hurst and I hung out last Saturday. He and Brother Lassie and Gang were very good friends, and I, he was my friend. And we got to talking, and I said, Dick, I said, what about Lassie and Gang? He said, man, you don't know that half of it. He said, Lassie and Gang was somebody. Y'all want to play with me for a minute or two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't hear, but I'm a hard to hear and preach it. Amen. It's a man. The blessing game was somebody. Yeah. And I got to thinking every time I came over to Willow Walk and every time he came over, remember hers, remember hers, remember hers. So blessing game was always working. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. When we think about it, brother and sister, Pastor Taylor, you got some Negroes now, I'm only working on pop back. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. But I look over the picture here and it said, Brother Blasting Game had several jobs. And I know throughout those several jobs that he had to encounter. See, everybody ain't going to like it, brother and sister, no matter what you do. So and I know in his driving days, amen, he had to run into somebody. Can I get a witness here? Somebody's going to always try to pick and try to pull you in, amen. You know how people are sometimes. We, we have negative thoughts on our minds, amen. And we're trying to pull you into the conversation. But my brother taught me, said, that blessing game, when I heard the word unique a few minutes ago, said, blessing game was different. Can I get a witness here? See, some of us like to be brought into mess because a lot of us don't know to carry mess around. Y'all pray with me. But blessing game, as it was affectionately called, had a way of sharing a smile. Y'all will pray with me. Had a way of letting you know that he really cared. Come on, son. 
somebody. A whole lot of us, we will we'll, we'll do what we can to cause, amen. But Black and Dan was the type of person that did in spite of, in spite of, some of us have more than enough but won't do nothing to help nobody. In church, every son of it ain't going to do nothing to help nobody. Can I get a witness here? But he is a man. Can I get a witness here? Brother and sister, I don't care who you are and how well dressed you are and how much education you got. And you can forget about seeing God if you ain't doing nothing to help your brother man down here. Can I get me a witness here? Yeah, yeah. Some of us done got so hurt to hide doing no good. But here's the man that when God touched him, never forgot his roots, never forgot what the Lord has done for him. So this man, Donald, bless him, man. Can I get a witness here? Was the type of man that would give you the shirt off his back. Come on and pray with me something. I say we'll give you the shirt off of his back. And some of us ain't going to do nothing. But think upon how God always got somebody. God always has somebody who going to help his people out. I don't care if you're on crack, if you're on this, if you're on that. If you're going to help him, help him. So blessing game with no respect of a person, amen. Helped everybody. Tried to help everybody. So I said that to say this, brothers and sisters. Here lies a man that God had given a unique ministry. I tell people all the time, just because I'm a minister, God has given everybody a ministry, amen. Your witness just might be the goalkeeper. Can I get a witness here? The man I heard somebody say working behind the scenes. Amen. That's the best soul in the world, the one that work behind the scenes. Get the job done and worry about the big bright lights. But as long as what you do for Christ for life, God will reward you. So bless the game. Throughout his travel, and I told you I'm not going to hold you long. Throughout his travels, I'm looking around at so many people that he touched in various ways. Can I get a witness here? Maybe he might not have touched you with money, but sometimes all you need is a little encouraging word. An encouraging word that will lift somebody up. That will carry somebody through. Blessed game had a way of telling somebody God is going to make everything all right. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Blessed game, I don't know how I'm going to get through that. But blessed game was unique, I just told you. Had a way of telling somebody just keep trusting in God and keep looking up to the hills. From which comes your help and know that all your help will come from God. God had a divine instrument in this man. Yes, you need a different instrument in this man. Yes, had a way of church. Had a way of relieving. See, a lot of us are not help relieve situations. Amen. A lot of us have been put gas on the fire a whole lot of time. But brothers and sisters, I come back to tell you that this man, Donald Blasting Game, has done what the Lord would have him to do. Working, and even though he was days, hey amen, it's nighttime, y'all. It's nighttime. All you got to do is look around, put us are out everywhere. It's nighttime. But God. The 
that there is a God who loves you. Yes, Lord. Bless the game, Hannah. We're telling you. I don't care how far you fall and you fall so far that God can't pick you up. Bless the game! Had a way. Can I get a witness here? Yes. He had a way, a different way. The Bible called it peculiar, amen. So we're peculiar people. The world's gonna look at us like we're crazy, like we're stuck on stupid. But God had a peculiarity about this man. And as I look at this family and friends and stuff today, it's evident that this man worked until the day was done. He worked until the day was done. He worked until the day was done. So the Lord looked down. Can I get me a witness there? Yeah. The Lord looked down. All in, sir. All in. The Lord looked down. Yeah. On May 27th, yeah. 2022, yeah. the Lord looked down. Yeah. And I heard the Lord say, You've been faithful yeah. over a few things. Yeah. But now I make you ruler over many. Yeah. I heard the Lord say, I'm a blessing game. You went sometimes and you feel like going, but he kept on. So I heard the Lord say that May 27th. Yes, Can I get me a witness here? Yes, I heard him say yes. May 27th uh -huh. of 2022. Mm -hmm. Blessing gang, you've been riding people around. Yes, Come on and go with me somebody. Yes. You've been riding folks around. Yes, you've been sharing a smile. People, you've been helping people everywhere. So the blessing game now, the driving days are come to an end. You don't have to drive no more. But blessing game, I'm gonna give you some wings now. Can I get me a witness here? Say you don't know how to drive, but you can fly around God's heaven. So my family. My brothers, my sisters, yeah. blessed game has earned his wings yeah. into this place called heaven. Uh, blessed game uh, yeah. is looking down, yeah. just waiting on us. Can I get a witness here? One day, brothers and sisters, one day, if you fall out of this man, did, if what you have given. The best of your service. Yeah. If when you have given your all, if when you have fought, join. You can join in this heavenly family. Where it's always howdy and never goodbye. Where everything is shiny and the Sabbath have no end. Our soul will look back and watch. Tell me when all of God's children get together. What a time. What a time. What a time. You rest on, brother, bless the game. We'll see you out of life.
crown. Today I stand giving honor to God, the Father, His Son, Jesus the Christ, and the precious Holy Ghost. To Donald's pastor, Reverend Dr. Clayton Eugene Taylor, Sr., Reverend Christopher Taylor, Sr., and the eulogist for today, Reverend Hurst, and all other entities of the gospel. I stand on behalf of this splendid family of Donalds. Should I say Donald Anthony? I never knew that. Treat her family, treat her like family. And anybody new here, 
knew him and how to treat him like family because he was family to everybody. So I just want to say, Lord King, uh, you paid your debt here, and God has called you home. Only thing we got left now is just what we're doing here now is the memories. Let's keep your memories alive. You know what? He'll never, never die. He always will be a mess with us. To this family man, myself and staff, we take this time out to honor you. I appreciate it for you chosen to be your general counsel during the hour of arraignment. And in doing so, we pray the Lord black for the King Trigger one or two me. Him give me God bless you. Now my daughter here, she going up. Uh, we're gonna sing this song together. Okay. <laughs>
Everyone except the family running. 